hello and welcome to everything april youtube channel in today's video i'll be showing you how i caught this cute summer crop top if this is what you like to learn please watch the end of the video thank you so i've gone ahead to fold my pattern paper into to using my biggest body measurement which is my bust measurement from my start line i measured out seven inches which is my chest line Usually my chest line is 8 inches, half of my round arm hole is 8 inches but for the sake of this tutorial I will be using 7 inches because I will not be adding sleeve to this top. I went ahead and um, drew out the line like so. Then from my from the start line to the length of the top is 17 inches plus one inch hemming allowance, making it 18 inches. So I would go ahead and mark 18 inches like so. Then on my start line. I would impute the 3 inch 8 inches standard for shoulder slope and on the 8 inches mark I'll come down by 1 inch and connect it back to the 3 inches mark that I made like so on the start line I would impute half of my shoulder measurement which is 7 inches I also impute this measurement on the chest line like so and join the two lines together I'll get the middle of this line like so and I would note it <coughs> I would also put down quarter of my bust measurement like so and connect the two lines together to get my armhole curve Then, on the length of my top, I will be putting quarter of my waist measurement, which is 7.25. And I will connect the two lines together, the bust line to the waist line like so. And I will add half inch sewing allowance because I am using a stretchy fabric. You can also um, not add sewing allowance if you are using a stretchy fabric. Or you can add half an inch sewing allowance for the neck width I'm maintaining the three inches and for the neck depth I'm using one inch for the back and three inches for the front so the neck depth for the back is one inch and that of the front is three inches while the neck width for both is three inches then on the shoulder slope starting from the neck width i would come out by three inches and then i'll connect these three inches i came out by to the armhole like so this will be the new arm armhole then i went ahead and added seam allowance for joining the neck the shoulder together then I'll go ahead and cut out my pattern I'll be cutting the new armhole and not the first armhole that I made. And I'll be cutting the back neckline first. Then I'll use this pattern to trace out 
to cut out my back um, piece before cutting the front piece I went ahead and placed my pattern paper on the fabric like so the right side of the fabric should be facing up that is the the, the, the right side of the fabric should be facing up like so for this fabric I've placed the stretchy part across the body measurement and the part that is less stretchy to be the um, along the body measurement and I'm trimming out my fabric like so using the pattern paper and this is going to be my back piece for the top This is the the back piece of our top. Then let's go into the front pattern. For the front pattern, I would fold back my pattern paper into two and then trim out the neck line for the front pattern. I will open up my pattern again from the center, from the crease. Before then, I would um, the 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 chest line. I would draw it across to get to the other part of the pattern, like so. Then from the center, you see the crease at the center. I would go in towards my right by three inches, like so. Then from that three inches point that I made, I'll come up by half an inch, like so. I'll come up by half an inch. From that three inches, I went in towards the right by. Then I come up by half an inch, like so. And then from the half inches, I'll be connecting back to the tip of my shoulder. I'll be connecting back to the tip of my left um, shoulder like so then from the half inch again I'll be connecting to the end the armhole to the armhole of the left part of the front um, bodies like so I would use my marker pen to trace out the line to make it bolder so this is how you connect it from the half inch I came up by to the tip of the left shoulder and from the half inch to the armhole of the left side of the top like so then I'll be cutting out these lines. I'll be cutting through the lines. So that's it for our front pattern. Our front pattern has been cut out. Then I would place my fabric the right side facing up. The right side facing up. And the stretchy part would be across the body measurement. While the non-stretchy part would be along the body measurement. Then I went ahead to trim out my fabric.
so this is it for our front pattern so our two patterns are ready for making this top you have to place um, right side facing each other then you join the fabric by uh, the shoulder using the half inch seam allowance that we imputed then you go ahead and hem the rough edges turning the neck and the design we made in front then the armhole then you join the two sides together and hem the bottom part of it so this is i've gone ahead to do all these i've i've turned the neckline the armhole and the front part as well i've turned everything in and i hemmed um, the down part and join it by the side and this is the outcome and it's a very lovely beautiful top please like share and subscribe to my channel if this video has been helpful please like my channel subscribe to my channel i look forward to seeing you in my next video thank you